Hi, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I was going to talk about some items that are great to have in your, your van or your RV. Uh, a couple of them are must-haves, and a few of them are great to haves or definitely handy to have. Uh, but first, I'm going to get myself some coffee. I always seem to be making coffee. <laughs> but uh, after that, I will get into it. So the first item on my list is a tire inflator, and it is definitely on the must-have list. Um, this is a DeWalt, and it operates either on your cigarette lighter port, whatever that thing is called. I call it a cigarette lighter. I know they don't call them that anymore. Um, or an optional lithium battery that you can get, rechargeable battery. I don't have the battery. I just use the port, the cigarette lighter port. Um, of course, I have to have the van on, but it's not a big deal. But um, anyway, so once I get that plugged in and the van turned on, I turn on the power, and this screen right here will tell me what my current tire pressure is. I scroll this to get to the pressure I want to get to. In other words, I need to get it to 70. So say it's 53 and I need to get it to 70. I would just put 70 here, hit start. It airs it up. And as soon as it gets to the, the correct pressure that I've set, it shuts off. Uh, works great. Uh, it's pretty quick. Um, and super handy to have. I mean, it, it's I, the reason I say this is a must-have is because you don't want to be out somewhere um, and you have low tire pressure uh, and you can't get to a place to air up your tires. So you want to you want to have something on hand to take care of that. And that's what I discovered last year when I was here. I went to the uh, I was having a problem with that it's, it's that same tire, the same guilty party. Um, but I was at the Beyond Rally and. Uh, had to put out a message if anybody had a uh, tire inflator because my tire went low again. Uh, so I think I, I think that night I went online and ordered this and it was waiting for me when I got home. But yeah, so I'll put a link to the in the description below uh, to this. Um, but it's you definitely want to have one of these uh, on hand because um, you don't want to get stuck somewhere. The next item on my list is definitely on the must-haves, um, and that is a rechargeable screwdriver. Uh, this is a Black & Decker. It's adjustable. It's lightweight. Uh, it comes with several sizes of regular and Phillips head uh, adapters, whatever you want to call those. Now, I got a uh, case to store it in. That didn't come with it, but um, that way I can keep everything handy and all in one place. And I just keep it right overhead in my... Uh, I call it the attic. I think a lot of people call, call it the pizza oven. Um, so yeah, it just stores right in here. And yeah, this has come in super handy because you never know. Things come loose. Things have to be adjusted. You know, you're always, there's always some little piece of maintenance you have to do. And so you want to definitely want to have one of these in, on hand. Another thing you want to have in addition to this is some form of a toolkit. I didn't pull mine out because mine, my toolkit isn't one that I bought. My husband actually put it together for me, but it's got, uh, you know, wrenches, hammer, um, zip ties, you know, just any kind of little thing, little handy tool, like a black electrical tape that, that you just want to have on hand in case, uh, you know, something happens, right? Something's always going to happen, <laughs> but uh, that's good to have too. But I'll put a link to this in the description. Now the third item, and I would put this also in the must-have list, is a collection of fuses. Uh, and you can get these on Amazon. Um, so you want to have, let's see, this has 15, 10, 5, uh, can't read them all, 25, 50, because inevitably fuses are going to go out. So, and you want to have a good variety. Um, of fuses, you know, like the different wattages, the, like I said, there's 5, 10, 15, 50, 25. Um, so yeah, definitely a must have to have in your, have in your attic, your storage, your pizza oven, wherever you, wherever you want to keep, I would keep, my opinion, I would keep all these things, all, well, not the tire inflator, but the, um, like your screwdriver, your toolkit, uh, fuses. I would kind of keep those all in one place. In my case, like I said, I keep them all in my, my overhead storage, which I call the attic. Uh, so that way I know where everything is. Like I have my manuals up there, um, all the tools, my fuses, 
um, batteries, extra batteries. That's another thing, extra batteries. Uh, double A, triple, uh, double A, and triple A. And if you have anything that else that you know runs off of a C or a D, you know, just keep keep some handy because again, if you're out somewhere, you know, where a store is not handy, you want to make sure you you've got something on hand for for a quick repair until you can get into somewhere that you need, you know, somebody to look at it. Um, but yeah, so this is number three. So the fourth item on my list of must-haves would be a first aid kit. This, I found this one on Amazon, um, and it has uh, a light stick, gauze, tape, scissors, a little, uh, little booklet on primary care, I guess, what to do in different situations. Uh, ha even had an emergency blanket um, and a cold compress, you know, one of those ones that you squeeze and it gets cold. Uh, so yeah, so it has several things in it. Um, but that's you definitely want to have something like that on hand, you know, something beyond just some uh, band-aids and alcohol rubs, right? Um, and I think with these, you probably have to check them every, I don't know, I don't know how long they're good for before you probably should replace it. I should probably look at that myself because I've had this for, this is the first one I've gotten, so I should probably check and see, you know, if I need to replace it because... You always want to make sure that what you have on hand is useful. So, um, but yeah, definitely uh, on the must-have list. So I showed you four things that are definitely things you want to have in your van or RV. Now I'm going to show you <laughs> some things that are really good to have um, that you'll thank me later. Uh, this this is one of my favorites. Uh, it's a Zap fly swatter bug catchy thingy tennis racket I don't know what you want to call it what is it called zap it uh, and this thing is amazing um, I do have you know one of those bug bug light things right uh, that you plug in but that's passive so they have to fly to it uh, if you saw my video from last year when I headed to Florida <laughs> It starts off with me swatting mosquitoes because I had it felt like a thousand of them uh, mosquitoes that got in here when I was in Houston uh, down near Houston at a harvest host or outside Houston actually but um, and so I was swatting them <laughs> you can see I have it on right now because there's like a little blue light on it um, but amazing so you know you just kind of wave it around and I'll, I'll put a clip from that in here because there's no bugs I'll, I'll, I'll put a clip in from when I was swatting all those mosquitoes but yeah you just you press the button and you wave it around you can chase after them <laughs> anyway it, it does the it does the job it gets the job done but yeah so this isn't it I, I don't know if it's a must-have for me I would say it's a must-have but it's definitely a you're gonna you're gonna thank me later <laughs> if you have one of these because flies uh, mosquitoes, little gnats, whatever, they get in, they get in. Every time you go in and out that door, something's flying in. So uh, yeah, this is, this is great. So number six on the list, and this would, uh, this would again fall under the great to have. Um, I don't know if I would say it's a must have. Uh, you might say it's a must have, I don't know, but that is a portable handheld vacuum. Uh, this one happens to be a Black & Decker Dust Buster. Um, it did say that it's designed, I guess, focused on pet hair. Uh, you know, traveling with pets, you know what I'm talking about. Um, actually, Misty, she's not a big shedder. She's, she's more of a, let me scatter my litter everywhere. Um, so this definitely helps with that. Hopefully she doesn't knock the camera over. <laughs> anyway, uh, but yeah, this is this has been a great tool. It's rechargeable um, and it works really well. Uh, I'll put a link to the in the description for this one. Um, it's it's a little bit. I know that there's some that are more, um, I guess, thinner for for storage purposes. But I I found this one works really really well, um, and it seems to be just the right size. I had another one that <laughs> was one of those scrolling through Instagram late at night and I saw this little portable um, vacuum it's like this big maybe this big uh, and after like four months and me forgetting I even ordered it it finally showed up and it actually worked pretty well but it is so small that <laughs> 
you know, I mean, even though the van's not really big, it's it's still small enough that, you know, it, it takes a little bit longer. Where this seems to be just the right size. But uh, anyway, like I said, I'll put a link in the description. Um, and I hope you found found these items helpful. Or I hope you found this list helpful of, of uh, items to think about. Um, I'm actually here in Gainesville at the Santa Fe Palms uh, RV Resort. I'm staying here for a couple days because I have an appointment this week with Sunshine State because they're going to do a mod for me that I've been wanting to do. And it's a mod that a lot of people can do themselves, um, but I know what my limitations are. <laughs> and I figured if they, they said they can do it, so I'm going to bring it to them to do it. And I will do a video on that and tell you more about it uh, in that video. But uh, it's hopefully... Fingers crossed that should be a kind of a game changer and it actually might be helpful for some of you um, it has it involves the black and gray tanks uh, and dumping so uh, that may be helpful uh, especially if you're considering um, if you haven't gotten a van yet and you're thinking about you know the difference between a cassette and a black tank and you know having to get down on the ground and all that um, this this might be might be helpful to you but uh, more on that uh, coming soon so <laughs> stay tuned but anyway uh, thanks for watching and if you found this helpful uh, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and thanks for watching um, today I wanted to talk about uh, well welcome back to the channel uh, today I was going to talk about some items that you would okay. well hi and welcome back to the channel I <laughs> So the first thing on my list is a uh, battery inflator. Hi. Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to talk on my list, and this comes under the must-haves, is a tire pressure. In, uh, uh. Well, we're going to have a lot of outtakes on this one. <laughs> 